Hey folks, Reed here. I enjoyed creating the SVG image sparklines in last week's video so much that I decided to experiment a bit with what else I could do with SVGs and even images. So I ended up creating some creative table KPIs using a series of SVG images and also some animated GIFs as well. The results are pretty cool, at least to me. So let's get started and I'll show you what I did. So I've taken the Power BI template that I normally use for these videos and I've added a few things. If you take a look down in the lower right, you'll see that there are some additional KPIs that I put into that table, specifically the hearts and of course the doom guy face. I let my inner geek out a little bit when I was creating this, so I decided to have some fun with the visualizations and I used some Zelda hearts for those hearts that you see there to kind of have a health bar. And then as well, I just wanted to see if I could somehow animate the doom guy face from the video game and throw that in there as well with various states of health based off of the same data that the heart KPIs were getting. If you scroll down here a bit, you will see that the uh, face changes quite a bit as the health bars go down. He gets in quite worse shape as it continually moves down through that. My goal with these occasionally is just to do something fun and creative, and I had a little bit of downtime, which is what led me to create these during the week. So let's go ahead and start with the simple, and I'll show you how I implemented the GIFs in for the Doom Guy face, and then I'll go to the slightly more complex and show you how those SVGs were put in here as well. So I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna open up my Doom Guy Health formula, and you can see it right here. And the formula itself isn't super complex. It uses the switch true, which is just a series of nested ifs. And as you can see at the top line there, it has the has one value condition to check to make sure that that grand total row doesn't return the code. That happens also with the SVG. So that's in there as a the condition. And then everything below that has one value is just a series of checks to determine the buckets for the units is greater than 80, units is greater than 60, and so on and so forth. And when that happens, it's simply returning the URL for the various GIFs that I personally created, spent a little time to, to actually design those, remove the background and everything. Uh, and those are just uploaded uh, and hosted on my site. But all it is is just an image URL. So that can be an image as well. Um, I chose to go with the animated GIF just for a bit of extra fun. But the overall formula isn't that complex. And again, just as a reminder, if you are doing this, just make sure that your data category is set to image URL. And that's about it for the switch here. You really just need to provide it to the image or GIF URL and then the conditions that swap it around based on whatever KPIs you want to create. So now that I've shown you this, let me show you as well how to do that with an SVG. Now what I did create here is an SVG that is actually contained in a custom table that I've created. So I'm going to come over to Zelda Hearts and go to Edit Query and pull that up. And what I've created here is a series of SVG images that are basically the various states of health. Each one in here is essentially the SVG code that returns that. There's the full health with minus one in, which is essentially the half heart, you know, the minus two, which is a whole heart removed and all the way down to no health where there are no hearts left filled with any color. And again, similar to the GIF, I did just create these using an SVG creator. There are also some online converters. If you just do image to SVG, you can get that code um, online. Now in general, I'm not going to admit that I'm the world's best SVG editor. Um, I only started to learn it when I was doing this stuff. Uh, the most important thing that I've found, and you're welcome to copy it out of the file, is this little bit down here, right before the actual path or the code for that. I was able to figure out this is essentially what is needed at the very beginning, uh, especially that data colon image and everything else in there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to spend a lot of time walking through exactly how that is created. But similarly to a, a GIF or an image, you can do swapping around for those. And the reason why I went for a table for this is the actual amount of code required for each image in here is quite a lot of text. So I didn't want to put that all into DAX. So let's go ahead and close out of here. And there is a single calculation that I do have in the Zelda Hearts table, which is selected values. And that's just returning the single row value of whatever that SVG code is. And then the actual measure itself for those hearts to return is right in here. And it's another switch equals true statement. Of course, there's that not has one value at the top. And then depending on each of the buckets, it is calculating that selected Zelda heart that I referenced from the other table. And then just with a filter for, you know, the full health, the health minus one, all of the filters needed for any of those rows to return that specific image. But in general, with SVGs and even GIFs, the sky's the limit for what you want to return. If you can spend some time creating the, the images that you need, or even the SVG code that you would want to put into there, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it, or just have fun with it like I did. And that about covers it for this video. So if you liked the video, please click that like button below. If you have anything to say or suggestions for other videos, or in general, just comments on this video, please add something to the comments section. And if you want to see more of these, or this is your first video, please click that subscribe button as well. And with that being said, I will see you in our next video.